This is a very short video on how to manage uh, the storage space and usage when you're working with After Effects. Now in this case, I'm not referring to where your files are stored or anything like that, but After Effects and other Adobe programs, other graphics programs, other video programs, create a temporary storage space when they're working on a project. And with programs like After Effects, that can take up a lot of room. So I'm, we're going to start by just kind of going in and looking at how you can manage this. So start by going opening After Effects and go under After Effects Preferences. And we're looking for Media and Disk Cache. Select that. And here you can see that Enable Disk Cache is turned on. The maximum disk size is on my computer is set to 100 gigabytes. I have a lot of storage space on my computer and what I'm going to say is if you're working from a laptop uh, or a computer with not a lot of hard drive space, I'm going to say that that number is probably set to something like 10 gigs or something like that. Now what I'm going to recommend is setting the disk cache to an external hard drive with more storage space. And to do that, you would go to choose folder. I have a hard drive plugged in, so I'm going to click on my hard drive. I'm going to create a new folder there and call it Adobe Disk Cache. And what you have to remember if you start up After Effects without this external drive plugged in, it is going to default back to storing things on your computer hard drive and take up more room. So you're going to click on Choose. Uh, the other thing that you need to do often is go in and empty the disk cache and just click on that button and that will do it. So in my case, 100 gigabytes, it's a lot. If you have a hard drive, a smaller hard drive on your computer, even 10 gigabytes can be a lot. Uh, I'm also going to go in and choose the media cache folder. And I am also going to set that to the same folder I did with the disk cache. And notice here there is also an option to clean database and cache. And that is something that you should do quite frequently. 